This has been, again, we keep everything in perspective. Obviously, this pandemic has caused people to lose their lives and family members. But when you look at what these kids had to do in order to even play this year and the sacrifices that coaches make. It's like everybody's it's, you can talk about sacrifice when things are easy, but when guys are having to wake up early, there's nobody in any of the gyms. There's nobody that can come to watch practice. There's no height. There's no energy. It's just you basically doing all the grind by yourself. So compliment to the coaches, compliment to all of these young players that have put in all the time to get better. The seniors that might not get a tournament or weren't, weren't able to get the fanfare like Remy Martin should have gotten 30,000 people yelling his name, saying goodbye to him at his last game at Arizona State, and he deserved that. He earned that, and it was taken away. And so many players lost things. But, you know, I just want to give a compliment and say just thank you on behalf as a former Pac-10 or Pac-12 alumni. I think you guys represented this conference and yourselves extremely well. The thank you was high, and for the love of the game, these players done everything they did. They sacrificed coaches the same way. And Rich and I have been here for the last literally 16 hours straight. Yeah. Right? And yeah. what we talk about, we don't talk about the NBA most of the time. We talked about college. Those are your brothers for life. That's your family for life. And you move on past that and you never let go of that relationship. Yeah. I can tell you that it has been a blast for me listening to the two of you tell stories all day <laughs> we long. We never get There's to see, we never really moments. get to hang out. I know. So 